together on eBay um, had it all. It had the aluminum radiator, three core. I picked up the brackets through Mishimoto. If you decide you do not or cannot get a hold of these brackets, you could always get, go with the Flexalite bracket. I'll indicate the part number below in the description box. They have the same bracket that does the same thing. It holds the overflow coolant and the power steering for the four cylinders and then you won't need the power steering uh, for this mod if you have a six cylinder 4.0 engine. Um, today we're going to be working with the 2.5 four cylinder engine. It seems like it's a little bit more popular and it's the truck that I have. Just to move forward on with the kit that I put together, I went with the d -Rally adjustable fan controller. I like this fan controller mainly because it has a replaceable relay. Um, the push-in style thermostat probe and I could also adjust the temperatures when I want the fan to come on and off. I really like the, the, the module itself because it came with wiring and a nice plug as well and it seems more compact when it can just easily be uh, fixed to the frame. Uh, with this control kit there's an override circuit so I picked up this switch that cleanly uh, mounts into the dash panel so I can turn on the cooling fan whenever I want. Say I'm towing uphill, the fan's not turning on. I can override the fan, turn it on. This was real nice because it's just plug and play and the three wires with the LED. To turn the controller on, just to step back a little bit on the controller, I got another fuse tap. So it'll, in the wiring diagram, you use a positive 12 volt to uh, turn on the relay and then once the temperature gets to the temperature you set it will kick on the power side the heavy current to start up the fan um, so that will fuse tap into the instrument panel um, or the fuse panel behind the glove box and I'll go ahead and show you how all this is going to go together um, to clean up the wiring I picked up some flex tubing uh, I think it was like 250 at Walmart, pretty cheap. And then also in this uh, installation process, I want to go over a ground strap that we're going to replace from the engine to the chassis. It, this uh, four gauge, 19 inch strap will replace the stock 10 gauge, really small wire. And we'll go ahead and clean up those terminals and I'll show you how that works together. But talking a little bit more about the fan, uh, I believe it's a 2400 CFM fan the plus side with this radiator setup is that it came with the shroud and um, I did some math on the fan uh, 12 volt 25 amp continuous uh, multiply that and it was like um, 300 watts so it was like less than a half a horse motor that that this fan is using okay so for the first thing you're gonna do is get a clean bucket and to save your coolant Mine is pretty good. I just uh, replaced the coolant not too long ago, so I'll reuse the coolant. To pop the drain plug and drain it into your favorite bucket. Then you're gonna remove the upper radiator hose and undo the four bolts. I believe there's seven sixteenths. There's four bolts that support the radiator and the shroud. Before you do that, you're gonna have to get a half inch wrench and a strap to hold the mechanical pump and, and re remove these four bolts here with a half inch or nine sixteenth wrench. I can't remember, double check, but I'll, I'll uh, have that removed. We're gonna replace, we're gonna remove this and then once the fan is unbolted, remove the four bolts for the fan shroud and pull it all up as one at once. You're going to also remove your overflow coolant bottle and set your power steering pump aside. Okay, so you're also going to remove this nut here and that small wire right there to the chassis. And that nut right there is going to be replaced with the one that I showed you in the video. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to be a big difference in the grounding. 
And after it's installed, that's what it looks like. Ground from motor to chassis. All right, so we got the uh, fan and override. There's the switch and the dash. I'm here doing this at night because I got the tools. And I'll hit the override. And my fan just kicked on. That's that uh, LED indicator that I was talking about earlier on in the video. Seven continuous amps. Not bad. Let's check over here on the ground side. Eleven point seven continuous. It pulls. That's awesome. All right, so to conclude this video, just go over the final installation of that Direlli Deluxe uh, fan controller. And then there is a ground fuse, and then the harness comes back through the uh, <clears throat> firewall for the air cleaner. And then where the fan hooks up. There is a connection here that I made with um, heat shrink tubing and some butt slices that just plug in and they come over here and this with the push and stop probe. The harness comes back through here. And then I uh, just bolted the, the ground to the chassis, the negative side of the battery, and then the positive side of the fan goes to the electrical distribution. And then I wired the rest of the loom for the control side of the circuit through the firewall, through here, and it goes straight back to the fuse panel, the fuse block behind the glove box. Okay, so I just removed the radio fuse and divided the circuit for seven and a half for the radio and a two amp on the switch side, and then kind of pulled back some some of the wiring, some of my custom wiring. But three wires go into there for the this one is the override switch. The LED 12 volt side and the yellow is the uh, the auto auto on and then the LED LED ground from the connection at the motor ground circuit and then the override switch and so <clears throat> at the end of the video I'll post a, another video with the circuit diagram that I wired up but this is the switch override switch that nicely fits in the dash and my blue indicator lamp go ahead and show you how that works Put on the key and then hit the fan just kicked in you can probably hear it now And then the blue light goes down. Okay, so finally I put together a control wiring diagram. This will conclude the video. Uh, go ahead and take a snapshot of this diagram. So when you're putting together the circuit, mainly the diagram that comes with the fan controller relay is already there for you. I pretty much just added where you're going to tap from, um, where, where I tap from, and then how I ran the indicator the indicator light for the fans on the dash. 
and you'll be able to compare this diagram to the controller diagram and then build your circuit that way. Um, I've also added a few notes in here um, on how I wired it up or which way I wired it up with a dash override switch and the temperature probe and then a setting on how I have it set. Uh, thanks for watching.